Hello boys and girls, my name is Erin and I am here to read for you for Read Across America Week. And the book that I have for you guys is Time for School, Charlie Brown. Poor Charlie Brown, he can't kick a football or throw a decent pitch or even fly a kite. But when it comes to worrying about school, he is the world champ. You look down, Charlie Brown, Linus says. I worry about school a lot, Charlie Brown replies. And then I worry about worrying so much about school. Charlie Brown decides to go get help. What's your problem, Lucy asks. I worry about tomorrow, Charlie Brown answers. Then when tomorrow becomes today, I start worrying about tomorrow again. I think I can help you, Lucy tells Charlie Brown. What you need is confidence. Throw out your chest and face the future, Lucy, Lucy shouts. Now raise your arm and clench your fist. Charlie Brown does what Lucy tells him to do. Suddenly, Charlie Brown isn't worried about school anymore. He might ace every pop quiz. He might become hall monitor. He might even talk to the little red-haired girl. Lucy interrupts Charlie Brown's daydream. You look ridiculous, she says. A few days after school starts, the teacher tells the students about the spelling bee. Charlie Brown thinks about entering it. It could be good for him. He could gain confidence. Charlie Brown goes to raise his hand to volunteer, but his hand won't go up. My hand is smarter than I am, Charlie Brown groans. Charlie Brown enters the spelling bee anyway. You're crazy, Lucy whispers. Don't do it. You'll just make a fool of yourself. Charlie Brown throws his hands up in the air. I can try, can't I? Charlie Brown asks. What's the good of living if you don't try a few things? Lucy leans over again. Spell acetyl... <laughs> it's a really big word. <laughs> Charlie Brown gulps. Maybe I shouldn't have entered, he says. But as the spelling bee gets closer and closer, Charlie Brown gets braver. He feels more confident. Nobody thinks I can win, Snoopy, Charlie Brown tells his dog, but I'm going to show them. I do have trouble remembering some rules, Charlie Brown admits. I before B, except after T? Is it V before Z, except after E? Good grief, thinks Snoopy. It is the day of the spelling bee. Charlie Brown feels calm. He feels confident. All these words in the first round are easy, he thinks. Soon it is Charlie Brown's turn. Maze, he repeats, after the teacher gives him the word. Charlie Brown isn't worried. He smiles, he takes a deep breath, and he begins to spell M-A-Y-S. Do y'all think that's how you spell it? Charlie Brown blows it. Soon he is back at his desk and he is worrying. What will his friends say? What will Snoopy do? Yes, ma'am, Charlie Brown answers when his teacher calls his name. Why did I have my head on my desk? Because I blew the spelling bee, Charlie Brown yells. That's why. Charlie Brown covers his mouth with his hands. Yelling at the teacher is never a good idea. Oh, good grief, he says. This is the worst day of Charlie Brown's life. He woke up looking forward to the spelling bee and he ended up in the principal's office. On a day like this, a person really needs his faithful dog to come running out to greet him. Charlie Brown says on his walk home, Snoopy is there waiting for Charlie Brown when he gets home. Happiness is a warm puppy. 
Poor Charlie Brown, he can't kick a football or throw a decent pitch or even fly a kite, but at least he has Snoopy. Charlie Brown is never happier than when he's with Snoopy. What a pair, Lucy says. The end.